Once Upon a Time, Story and Pictures by Nikki Daly. By eight o'clock, the little Karoo was starting to bake, sending the scent of wild herbs into the dry air. The dirt road to Hopfield straight as a ruler stretched forever. Sari knew the road well. She walked along it every day to school and back again. The long walk did not bother her. She was a dreamer and her legs were strong. It was school that bothered her. When Mr Adonis said, children, take out your reading books, a sick feeling would grip Sari, making her hands tremble and her voice disappear. Sari hated reading aloud in class. Those words, so many of them, running together, row after row, page after page, they tripped off her tongue. She stuttered and stammered over them. When it was her turn to read, the children in the back row giggled. Take your time, Sari, Mr Adonis said kindly. Take your time, Sari, teased Charmaine and Carmen after school. Take your time, joined in the smaller children. Only Emile stood back and said nothing. He knew that Charmaine and Carmen were jealous of Sari because she was as pretty as a picture. At home, Sari was called the late lamb because she had been born long after her older brothers. Her family all worked long, hard hours on the sheep farm, except on Sundays when they rested. After lunch, her father took a nap while her mother sat in the shade of the blue gum tree doing her big, loopy knitting. But after a few rows, she too would fall asleep. Then Sari would run across the vale to the ridge. That was where our missus lived. And there she would be, sitting in her rusted up old car waiting for Sari. Then Sari would climb into the driver's seat and pretend to be taking a Sunday drive somewhere, far, far away. As they drove, old missus would tell stories of once upon a time when she was young and her car was shiny. Then Sari would tell old Mrs. everything, how she hated reading aloud, how the words stuck in her throat like dry bread, and how the children laughed at her. People can be cruel, said old Mrs. but don't give up, Sari. It's so good to be able to read well and enjoy books. One Sunday, tired of driving, Sari climbed into the back Dreamily, she ran her hands over the brittle leather into the darkness between the seat and the backrest. Then she felt it, something under the seat. She pulled and out came a dusty old book. Sari jumped into the front seat with the book. The cover creaked as she opened it. My goodness, Sari, said old Mrs. Look, it says to Lizzie with love from Mama and Papa. This book belonged to my daughter. Read it to me, read it to me, pleaded Sari. The old woman shook her head. No, Sari. Sari looked puzzled. Then old Mrs. Mouth crinkled into a smile. We will read it together. Once upon a time, the wife of a rich man fell ill. It was a lovely story about a beautiful girl and two ugly stepsisters. Reading with old Mrs. was fun. In some parts, Sari read alone. Then just before a word could trip her up, old Mrs. would join in until the story ended. So Cinderella married her prince and lived happily ever after. As the sun dipped behind the ridge, old Mrs. closed the book. Sari felt too happy to speak. It's your book now, said old Mrs. patting Sari's hand. Next Sunday we'll read it again. Next day, Sari couldn't wait to get to school. She wanted to show Mr Adonis her beautiful book. Ah, oh, Cinderella, said Mr Adonis. Read it to a sir, cried the children. As Mr Adonis read, Sari remembered all of it. She could even see some of the words. Then Mr Adonis asked the children to take out their reading books. Excitedly, Sari opened her reading book. But when it was her turn to read aloud, the words tangled round her tongue and she started to stammer. Take your time, Sari, said Mr Adonis. Emil looked at Sari. Her eyes filled with tears as she struggled to get the words out. Charmaine and Carmen giggled in the back row. 
When Sari saw old Mrs, she told her all about it. Amin is the only one who doesn't laugh, said Sari. Well, he sounds like a prince, said old Mrs. And she clapped her hands and said, and guess who you can be? She dashed into the house and came out carrying an old evening dress. It smelt musty, but it sparkled as it fell over Sari's shoulders. My princess, declared old Mrs with a low bow. On the Sundays that followed, Sari read her favourite book for old Mrs. The more she read, the less afraid she felt about reading in class. And the less afraid she felt, the better she read. One day, Miss November, the school principal, visited the classroom to hear the children read. One by one, they read aloud. Soon it was Sari's turn. She opened her reading book and suddenly the old sick feeling came back. What if she made a mistake and lost her place? What if she found a place but lost her voice? Mr. Adonis waited patiently. The class started to fidget. Sari thought about all the words she'd read with old Mrs. She could see them, lots of friendly letters holding hands to form words that danced and sang together. She could feel old Mrs. beside her. Bravely, she took a deep breath and started to read. The words poured out as clear as spring water. You read beautifully, said Miss November. Out of the corner of her eye, Sari could see Emile smiling. After school, Sari and Emile walked home together. Would you like to go for a drive in my car, asked Sari. Emile laughed. Where's your car? I'll show you, said Sari, taking his hand. When old Mrs saw them coming over the hill, she waved. Come on, let's get going, she shouted. Sari jumped into the driver's seat. Old Mrs took a back seat so that Emile could sit in the front. So you're Emile, said old Mrs. Yes, said Emile shyly. I'm Sari's friend. That's good, said old Mrs. Don't you think she reads beautifully? Yes, said Emile. Bet you didn't know she could drive. <laughs> no, giggled Emile. Where are we heading for, Sari? said old Mrs, settling back. Far, far away, said Sari. Before them, the flat expanse of the little Karoo stretched as far as the eye could see. Ridges shimmered on the hazy horizon, like faraway castles. And as Sari took the wheel, the air stood still, and it seemed almost once upon a time. Good night. God bless. Sleep tight.